Buongiorno ragazzi, benvenuti al mio canale, sopra qui a YouTube. Oggi dovrebbe parlare a... a... Don't worry, Gruners, yes, I'll revert back to Anglais, Inglese, yes, maybe one day I'll do a full vlog. So yes, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Donato, aka okay, The Running Guru, and uh, here to give you a quick update on the past week's training and where I'm going next week. So quickly, get on with the show, be the singing, it's all on me. Here's the band. We got Giorgio on bass. We got Franco on guitar. Where is he? Down here. Franco on guitar. We got Leonardo on another guitar. And over there. Da -da. Obviously, you may know the song as just me, one ice cream, but it's O Solo Mio. O Solo Mio. Bum, 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 da -da. Da, da, da. Yes, Grunas, a whole week has gone by. It's hard to believe it. It was two weeks ago. This very day, I was running along the banks of the river Tiber in Roma and today I've been doing my long run across the canals of Birmingham. Yes, the canals of Birmingham. Did you know there's more canals in Birmingham than there is in Venice? Although, as much as I love Birmingham, I think the canals in Venice are a, a tad more artistic, shall we say? But anyway, yes, swiftly moving on from the canals of Venice and Rome and Birmingham. But yes, here we are. What a week, what a week. Let's quickly jump into this week's training, yeah? So yes, guys, since since finishing, um, obviously a week ago today was the Isle of Man Half Marathon. And for those of you not seen it, check out the link uh, above. It was a pretty amazing race. It didn't go a couple of things went wrong for me. I wouldn't say didn't go to plan because obviously you don't plan things going wrong, but uh, but they did. So uh, this week was was an interesting week. And um, three of my training runs, I got totally drenched. Yeah, totally drenched. Uh, on the one day, I got drenched from the uh, sweating, and check out how I got drenched on another one of the days. Yeah. Have a look at this. <laughs> See if you can believe this. So when it's lashing down with rain and the strong winds, what do you do? As if you need to think about it. If you're training for a marathon, you go for a run. That's right, yeah. Forget the rain, forget the wind. Just go for it. I mean, hey, it's just a bit of wind and rain. So yes, guys, that's the clip from the beginning of uh, one of my uh, weekly runs. That was at the beginning where it was it was coming down pretty heavily over uh, where I was working that week on the uh, Isle of Man and yeah it was coming down heavily but literally within 10 minutes of me starting my run it was like the heavens opened up it brought memories back of Boston Marathon where it was like someone throwing buckets of water over me and it just did not stop for the whole of that training run although it did stop at the very end have a look what happened at the end yeah <gasps> check this out it was just bizarre I mean you couldn't have timed it in any such way have a look well, Grunas, despite the torrential rain and strong winds, the rain has now stopped, yeah, so I finished my run, and uh, that was totally epic. So as you can see, with the weather conditions, training to effort is essential. I'll leave a link below where I talk about comparing training to pace, training to effort, running in headwinds and rain, and your training plans which says run to a certain pace, in my books, doesn't really make much sense. So it's all about effort, effort, effort. And today was an epic effort, yeah. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye. So yes, I got uh, to the end and the downpour, almost to the minute of when I finished my run as walking back, it, it stopped. So the deluge had finished. Um, I did get a few choice comments from motorists going by, as you do when you're running in the torrential rain and torrents of rain, because there was nobody else out there. No one, no one out on foot, nothing. Um, even people in the cars thought it was a bit uh, heavy rain, but yeah, it was almost monsoon-like. Rivers were appearing everywhere, so I was running through, and my feet were soaked, everything soaked. Thankfully, unlike at Boston, it was warm, so uh, I was okay in my singlet and shorts, so I didn't at any point feel cold, but yeah, totally soaked. And then the following day, I went out on the training run, got totally soaked again, but from the heat. So it's been pretty soaking week. <laughs> yeah, soaking week. I know, I know. But uh, things are going really well and this weekend I just completed, I think um, from the two training runs on the Saturday and today on the Sunday, I think I completed an equivalent of uh, marathon distance, 26 odd miles. Um, but that's, it's all feeling good. So 
I'm pretty happy. Love to hear from you how your training is going if you are doing an autumn marathon and leave some comments below. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I say it's just a quick to the point update of what's happening in this week and maybe I'd like to hear your news and views of what's happening and what you think of the um, autumn marathon season coming up. Yeah, have you got anything special that you're looking forward to? Are you training for anything or you're just getting out there and enjoying the beautiful weather? Because whilst it may be a bit humid, it is great to uh, get out there. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and listening and hopefully see you at the next vlog coming soon. So wherever you are, whatever you do, Did you like the uh, greenhouse edition by the way? And I got the green hat here, just to match. Uh, couldn't find me green sunglasses, so went with the blue. So hopefully you like these, yeah? Ah! Keep going guys, love you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch these. See you next time. Bye bye, peace out. <laughs>